Why the Queen's recent message has royal fans worried. Queen Elizabeth is known and admired for many things. The 95-year-old monarch has had an incredible reign that spanned nearly 70 years, per town and country. She has proven herself a competent and knowledgeable leader on many world stages. She has a grand presence, but also a way of touching the public with emotionally poignant remarks. Some recent remarks from Her Majesty have concerned royal fans around the globe, though. Recently, the Queen has missed several public engagements at the suggestion of her medical team, for AP News. Most recently, she was unable to attend Remembrance Sunday on November 14, 2021, and the Church of England's National Assembly on November 16, 2021, due to a sprained back, per people. These may seem like small concessions from the Queen, but her absence at these events is anything but. This notes the first time she has not attended the General Synod in its 51-year history. It is beginning to seem increasingly difficult for Elizabeth to fulfill her duties as compared to the past. Queen Elizabeth shared a message for the public that some find unsettling. Though Queen Elizabeth didn't attend the Church of England's National Assembly, she was well represented. Prince Edward attended on her behalf, as he was previously prepared to join her there. There, he delivered a message from the Queen that struck a chord with those listening, per people. It is hard to believe that it is over fifty years since Prince Philip and I attended the very first meeting of the General Synod, the Queen said in the statement. None of us can slow the passage of time. Though this isn't the first ceremony missed by the Duke of Edinburgh since his death earlier this year, it is the first since the country and church have mourned his loss. Coupled with the Queen's comments about the passage of time, many can't help but wonder how long the monarch will continue on in her role. These words also speak to a theme Elizabeth touched on in her 26 Colombian peso speech. In touching on the need to act on climate change, the Queen noted, of course, the benefits of such actions will not be there to enjoy for all of us here today, none of us will live forever. But we are doing this not for ourselves, but for our children and our children's children, and those who will follow in their footsteps, per Sky News. Queen Elizabeth also spoke on faith's role in her life. During the mist ceremony, Queen Elizabeth's words still rung true. Of course, in our richly diverse modern society, the well-being of the nation depends on the contribution of people of all faiths, and of none, Elizabeth's statement read, per people. But for people of faith, the last few years have been particularly hard, with unprecedented restrictions in accessing the comfort and reassurance of public worship. For many, it has been a time of anxiety, of grief, and of weariness. Certainly, the Queen has not been exempt from feelings of anxiety and grief. The year has continued to see her schedule in limbo as the pandemic necessitated her to stay put for many months. The loss of her husband during this time has had many further concerned for the Queen's future. Still, the palace forges ahead with plans to celebrate her Platinum Jubilee in June 2022 with a three-day celebration that will span the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth, per the royal website. Be it a good or bad journey between now and then, all eyes are on the United Kingdom's longest reigning monarch.